Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. This is episode 7. Last time we completed the heist. And what an episode. We closed out Act 1, losing Jackie, which was so unfortunate. I really hoped that it wouldn't play out like that trailer. But we are past the point of knowing things about the game now, which is really exciting. That trailer is now a uh, lingering memory. We've witnessed the events that have transpired within the game, and Jackie's passing just really highlights the, the need for that six-month montage to be playable, so we could really build and strengthen that bond between the characters. I still do feel the emotional impact, but not as much as I think Jackie deserves. Really enjoy that character really liked the introduction to this world and I'm very excited for what's in store for us now. We've got Keanu Reeves in our brain through the relic and we have weeks left to live. We're in a very dire situation here. Very positive stuff. We are going to have a look around our apartment. Some optional things before we leave. We're playing for time currently. From the Mega Building Administration, Dear Sir or Madam, our records show we have not received this month's rent payment for your unit at Mega Building H10. In accordance with the tenancy agreement, any subsequent payment delays will result in forced eviction from the property. I cannot see that, but I think it's, yeah, delays will result. Makes the most sense. Uh, open your inventory and put on some clothes. Yes, I am currently naked. Uh, what have I got? I, I did get some new stuff uh, in the tower. Alright, we'll wear just this. Alright, this is fine. We'll head outside now. Cool, I got Kotetsu no Ryu coat. The final trace of a turbulent youth. Oh, this is actually sick. Alright, we might be changing... Uh, I think we'll be changing our outfit here for sure. It's a little too much red. Um... I think that those pants would do. A little more black. I need to change my shoes. I only have sneakers. I need to get <laughs> I need to get something else. Um Where's my scouter? Fuck. And I don't have my uh my baseball hat anymore. Oh that's because it would be in that's in it's in my stash, right? Hang on. Everything that's in my stash I can access from the wardrobe. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I saved an outfit, didn't I? There we go. Alright, I got more stuff in here. What's this jacket look like? Yeah, get that out of here. Um Yeah, this is the move. We'll run with this. We'll run with that. This and oh nice, all right. I got more boots in here. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna do those. Hell yeah, yeah, all right. So that's wardrobe. That's outfit number two, right? Sweet. And then you just press like equip, and then that's what I'm wearing. Awesome. Stuck up on ammo. My stuff. Um, and then we can open our stash, and then I guess if we put our equipment in the stash, does it end up going on the wall? Wait, I've got ba a bandage wrapping outfit. Interesting. A bandage wrapping outfit. How do we get weapons to like, can we put weapons in the actual wall? Because we've got weapons in the stash. Doesn't look like they actually visually represent on the wall though. And apparently we can now find something to eat. Let's have a look. Soup. Mmm, soup. 
and some vodka. I guess I should probably just be, yeah, I should use it from. Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Huh. Okay. Why is this guy so keen on me? I know that I killed, uh, you know, Arasaka and everything, but come on, man. That's in the past now. I'm in Act 2. Leave me alone. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Takamura knows just the kind of date spot to take a woman. Mega Building H10 Administration informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. Wish you a pleasant day. Artmos Collective, capitalism is a fish served cold. First will come a great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world. Whenever money changes hands, your true self becomes a victim to capitalism. And Mr. Wells, dear Miss V, I would like to inform you that Mr. Wells' body has been delivered to his family. Eish. <laughs> Bud. That is sad. How do we not have Mama Wells' number if we're supposed to be like BFFs with Jackie, you know? New job, human nature. Let's go. Back out into the wild. So, we can meet with Takamura, but I am thinking... This is Act 2. We're in a new part of the game, and we do actually have some side quests for us, uh, for us to do. We've got... Um, human nature. We've got Beat on the Brat to do the, the boxing. Uh, we've got the gig to collect our reward from Wakako. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, we're going to pay off our debt to Vic. Definitely going to do that. And then finding and incapacitating cyber psychos for Regina Jones, apparently. So we've got things to do, which is very exciting. Uh, I think we're going to take this opportunity as well to also read some of the shards that we've picked up haven't checked out yet. Oh, that's the relic. I wonder what that means for us then. This is cool as well, like the skills that we have progressing and getting rewards as we go through. Uh, we're going to level up our technical ability and we're going to level up our uh, our cool points because in cool points we're going to be able to unlock the throwing knife stuff and I picked up a throwing knife off of Saburo's corpse and I'm in love with the throwing knife <laughs> so we are definitely going to be working in on that one, for sure. Uh, we're going to get level 2 of dash, so we can actually dash now. Pressing B. We can shoot while dashing. Uh, mitigation chances while performing uh, dash. Plus 40 stamina, neutralizing enemy while dashing, and dash range towards enemies as well. And less stamina cost for attacks with blades. This is going to be so fun. I'm very excited to be like some sort of silenced pistol, throwing knife, blade wielding person. Um, okay, so rule of cool. Uh, that looks like that should go right up into this pathway. So we've already got killer instinct. Ending attack on an enemy right off the detect you with delayed detection from other enemies. It's kind of interesting if I do that with a throwing knife. And then I get 30 seconds of 10% movement speed. And we get feline footwork. Alright. That's our level up. Countdown. Play it again. Hard reset. Okay, what's going on here? 
twenty percent. Okay, I'm not sure what the percentage is. Is this like hard reset? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. What matters now is you're still alive. When there's life, there's hope. You've got no choice now but to get back in the game and up the stakes. Play it again, Johnny Silverhand, the legendary rocker boy who brought the fight to Arasaka 50 years ago and paid the ultimate price. Now he's back as a digitized construct on a biochip jammed in your brain, slowly but surely overriding your consciousness. If you don't find some way to get rid of him, you're as good as dead. And the countdown is bad news from Vic. The biochip is going to gradually kill you by overriding your mind with another neural network. The result, your consciousness will get wiped and you'll cease to exist. Seems there's no clue how to stop it, or if it's even possible. But you won't just give up without a fight. Evelyn Parker, Anders Hellman, Arasaka. You'll have to track down every lead to make it through this alive. That's sick. Alright, shards-wise... We are going to be looking up some uh, of these that we've pulled up. Ones that we haven't read before. Um, let's see, let's have a look. Literature. We've got a thousand beats a second. What is that? So I think this is actually just like fiction within the world itself, which is fun. I couldn't believe my eyes. For a moment, I thought Jessica had changed them out for faulty Kiroshis while I was asleep. But no, that wouldn't have been like her. I blinked again. No change. There I saw them, clear as day, the open flaps of Jason's chrome skull. I saw the electronic brain that, up until now, had been hidden by perfect imitation sin skin. The son of Future Tech CEO, the boy of my damn dreams, Jason. He was an android. Shit. I sat there stuck with a dumb expression on my face and Jason stared back with one of his own. I couldn't help but wonder now. Were those beautiful blue eyes of his the same that had pierced my soul? Were they merely a mimicry controlled by some emo algorithm? Had there never been anything real behind them all those times? Not once? Alex, it's not what you think. He pleaded with a strangely authentic note of panic in his voice, and I wanted to believe him. I really did. <laughs> Clearly it hasn't been. I replied in equal parts anxious and bitter. Me and my rotten luck. The first and last guy I fall for, and he turns out to be a goddamn motherboard on legs. No, that's not... Jason suddenly broke off and smiled awkwardly. Wait, did you... did you say fall for... My cardio implant began to beat more and more quickly. My face flushed. Had I been wrong? Could this body of bolts, wires, and plastic really contain whatever is left of the real Jason Cadales? His father was able to design a synthetic heart for me. Maybe he could do the same for his son's brain. The question is, why? A thousand beats a second. I'd like to find one of these about Adam Smasher. It was really cool to see him in 2023 before he became like 95% cybernetics. Richard Knight was a pessimist, even in the late 80s when the economy seemed headed for endless growth and the nuclear threat for the ash heap of history. Knight saw the United States as hurtling towards collapse. Richard Knight was an optimist. He deeply believed the world could be changed for the better, that he was the one to do it. Richard Knight was a realist, aware he couldn't change the face of the world all at once. He decided to smart, start small, for him at least, by constructing the ideal city. His utopian metropolis was to be called Coronado City. It would stand as a metaphorical city on a hill, a shining example to the rest of the world. Richard Knight was doomed to fail, not because his vision was inherently impossible to realize, but because many important powerful people wished to make it so. And Richard Knight was murdered. The city whose foundations he laid was finished after his death, but his utopian dream soon became a dystopian nightmare. Even the original name was lost. In honor of the city's tragically deceased founder, Coronado City was rechristened Night City. Ironically, the name fits. If anything, the city is a cat, sleepy during the day. It comes frantically alive at night, and it loves to toy with its prey. Okay. So it was originally Coronado City, and Richard Knight is the creator. Incredible. Let's read... In the shadows of mega buildings. One could say we're living in stable times. The fourth corporate war is ancient history. The unification war is over and done with. And Night City is a free city, a jewel embedded between two Californias. Living here, you might have the impression that everything is okay in the world, but look around. The world is not okay. 
Despite technological recession between 2020 and 2040, reducing global pollution levels, humanity is still facing monumental existential threats. Climate change has turned into climate disaster. Its effects are irreversible and dangerously unpredictable. Hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts, floods, natural catastrophes are growing in strength and frequency across the continent, leveling entire regions. Access to clean water is becoming increasingly more scarce, as well as fertile land. Hunger and starvation still reaps a bloody human harvest in Asia and Africa, where corporations had no interest in building vertical hydroponic farms. Meanwhile, advances in cyber modification have given rise to a new problem, cyberpsychosis. And though we're, we've been aware of cyberpsychosis for half, over half a century, and know that the incidents of cyberpsychosis are inextricably linked to a person's level of implantation, we still do not know why some are more prone to carrying out violent attacks than others. Let's also not forget the more serious issue of mass inequality, record high crime rates, including in places like Night City, and social unrest linked to immigration in almost every corner of the world. So I ask you again, look around. You see all of these problems in Night City already. Maybe you're standing in the shadow of a mega building and you think, Night City is Night City. The rest of the world's problems don't affect me, right? Right? <laughs> Storm on the Mare Chrissium. By now, we're all avid viewers of the reality TV show that is Orbital Politics, except this is real life, and what happens up there could have real consequences for all of us down here. Recently, everyone's been talking about the attack on Ursula Carreria, resulting in the complete loss of control in the lower half of her body. The media has been endlessly replaying remarks made by Carrera's younger brother, Wagner, while also discussing the latest outfit worn by Yara Eoade, the official press conference where she denied rumors that Carrera's family had any hand in her accident. I don't know about all of you, but with each passing day, the saying, what happens in orbit stays in orbit, is starting to sound like dangerously wishful thinking. That's all we'll read for now. We'll read some other ones later on, as well as maybe take a peek at the database too. NCPD. A lot of reading to do, so we've got to do it in sessions. We're, right We're here to help. Don't got no fucking warrant. Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Oh my god, we just spawned two clones. Jesus. I got a new job by listening to these guys. Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, she might know Barry. Are you about to go judge dread and become one of the one of the cops? <laughs> Give me a fancy looking helmet. Am I missing something? This is a mega tower. Spill into badges will get you pegged as a snitch. This'll only take a sec. Do you know, Barry? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petropa. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. Okay, can I go in there now? Hey, Barry? Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. <sighs> Try again later. Okay, we'll be back later then. It's a, it's a future job. But this one person is on an absolute mission. Look how fast they walk. <laughs> what the fuck? They are on a mission. What is this? The item received. What the fuck? I was trying to open my phone, but sure.
What did I just get? Here it is. Um, Encart City Pass, your ticket for the Night City Metro. Okay. You can ride the Metro. But I can also go and pick up my car if I want. Oh, damn. All right, everybody, this is going to be an episode where I just walk around and stare at the city. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, I should pick something to do. Uh, so journal, um, try to on a barrier in a few hours. Done. Let's fetch our car from the parking garage. The Archer Hella ECD I3 360. Cars should be made well, but never too well. Archer's board of directors learned this truth the hard way when in 2023, they launched the first Hella series, which proved so reliable and easy to repair that it nearly drove the company to bankruptcy. Many who bought a Heller in those days for a generously affordable price, it's worth noting, often never found themselves on the car market again. Even today, more than 50 years later, Archer Hellers are a fairly common sight on the streets of Night City. Of course, time has taken its toll, leaving many of them rusted and screechy. Still, they continue to move people from A to B. That is, unless they crash into something along the way. In those cases, there isn't much left to rescue from the wreckage. Despite their functional reliability, the car body is manufactured from cheap, brittle materials. Fortunately for most car owners, if you lose a bumper and a leg on accident, both are easily replaceable. Alright, where's my car at? Here. Thank you. Uh, uh. What the hell happened? Looks like everyone in this fucking town's out Whoa. to end you. Makes me feel like an amateur. A hack. Ugh, shut up. I gotta find out why Night City's most courteous has upgraded to hit and runs. You really just pop in whenever you feel like it? I said shut up! If I look away, does he go away? No? Okay. My car! What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucking... Delamain, what the fuck? Please accept our sincerest apologies regarding traffic incident number 77111010096. The Delamain Corporation cordially invites you to its main headquarters in order to assess damages and arrange compensation. Bro. But my car and my floating uh, hood. Oh, I just got that back. All right. Can I take this car out of here? I can break in. Bypass the locks of parked vehicles if you meet the technical ability attribute requirement. Police may respond. God fucking damn. All right. Uh, maybe this is something we can uh, ride the metro for. Um, what the hell? All right. Delamain. If you ever wish you could leave your problems at the door, make sure it's the door of a Delamain luxury cab. Delamain's the only cab service in Night City managed by an artificial intelligence and prioritizes passenger safety as highly as comfort. Delamain's intriguing personality alone is reason enough to travel in his company. He is likewise an excellent business partner due to his boundless dedication to improve the quality of his services through effective management and innovative technologies. Also, apparently, you can sometimes run into your car screaming nonsense. Artificial intelligence that began as simple algorithms meant to simplify our lives. With time, some became convincingly capable of simulating humans with programmed personalities one could even grow to like. They, they were also weaponized AIs, essentially military technology used to break through enemy security in the net. But then, Netrunner Raish Bartmos arrived on the scene, and with him, the infamous data crash. Bartmos's target was the corporate data fortresses, his goal to steal the data held within and unleash it into the net. What he achieved was a full-blown war that would transform cyberspace for good. As a direct result, AIs began to mutate, becoming deadly dangerous. Thus, rogue AIs were born. At that point, Netwatch runners were forced to design the Black Wall, a powerful artificial intelligence with only one job keep the rogue AIs out of the remnants of the net that survived the crash. Officially, nobody ever ventures beyond the black wall. Unofficially, well, believe what you like. Dude, the lore that we're getting out of the database entries is preem. 
<laughs> Vista del Rey. There's no need to sugarcoat it. Vista del Rey is the worst part of Haywood, eaten alive by poverty and oppression. Gangs are the neighborhood's undisputed rulers, though the streets they rule over are often deserted. Fugitives or suspicious types hide in the shadows of mega buildings that have seen much better days. Now their rundown exteriors seem to scorn you as you pass them. It's no wonder then that Vista is a thorn in the side of the powers that be in neighboring districts like Corpo Plaza and North Oak. Corporate executives would happily forget about the squalor of Haywood if it weren't literally right on their doorstep. Once in a while, rumors circulate that the city's authorities could take over and clean up Vista del Rey, but who will actually step up to the task? Oh yeah, all right. Some things, sometimes some things happen in life, guys, where you're like, all right, we're gonna do this today, and then someone rams your car and that changes your whole plans. And uh, it's so immersive in that fact that now we've got to go perform errands in a cyberpunk city. I need to go to Delamain HQ. All right, how do we get to the Metro? I got a, I got a card. Oh, Jesus. Why does it say talk? Get up, get up. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone got hit by a car, and I can still talk to them, apparently. What in the world? They crossed when it said wait. Oh, God. Nothing makes sense. All right, I need to get to the Metro, everyone. I feel like that's probably intentional, right? You uh, are allowed to pick up your car, you get a pass, and then it goes, oops, sorry about your car. Um, Metro, there you go. So it's a different fast travel thing to do. So there's fast travel and also metro fast travel. I'm assuming this is like fast travel with a immersive aspect to it. There's so many just NPCs doing unique shit. It's so cool. Train arriving in four minutes. Okay, we're riding the metro. E card required. Uh, departures. We're going for the true immersive cyberpunk experience, guys. We are walking around the city, and we're taking the metro. Thanks. I deserve that. Night City Rapid Transit. It's hopeless. The whole world is fucked. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh, so there's the fast travel or ride the metro, so you can do one or the other. Ride the metro, baby. Oh, this is cool. So I can select my destination. This map shows typical end cart services on weekdays. Departure times and train routes are subject to change. For more detailed information, please visit the end cart net page. So I should be able to get off at like multiple stops, right? Fuck, I don't even know where I'm where I'm going. Uh, so Delamain HQ is where? Yeah. Okay, so I want to be stopping off near like the big Corpo Plaza in the middle. There's a lot of stuff on the map, so I try not to look on the map because then the map will overwhelm me and I'll cry. So just don't look at all of the icons, okay? So I think we want to get on the... Um, we want to get on the Westbrook to Watson line and then we get off around Congress and MLK. I don't know how this works, but I'll figure it out. Can I choose which stop to get off? Baby's first day on the metro. That's okay. That's cool. So you can stand by the door, look out the window, exit at next stop. That's awesome. So you can see next stop here. So you need to actually pay attention. Fuck yeah, dude. That's so cool. You're exaggerating a bit, don't you think? I have obligations, you know. Well, you're the one who asked. Yes, yes, I already told him. 
You're now at Med Center. Please collect all personal belongings before leaving the train. So I can stand by the door, and that way I can see where I'm going. So we're at Med Center. Okay, so we're at like the start of the the line. Oh, that's wait. This is gonna go around the long way. What the fuck? God, we're gonna be here for a while. Is there not an option to like skip through the stops? I kind of wish that you could like. Next stop, Eisenhower Street. This is wild. I kind of wish that we could choose which stop we want to get off at. Maybe we can. And I wasn't paying attention. Let's just get off. Um, that's fine. <laughs> We're just in a new area. This is this is normal. This happens. I'm even further away than where I wanted to be, but this is my first day in Night City, guys. I've, I've never been here before. <laughs> I'm certainly not a corpo. You ever just get on a train and uh, end up in a fucking random spot? <laughs> Alright. Let's get in the metro, but I guess this time we do fast travel, right? So we'll fast travel, and then we can choose our destination. So where we want to go is here. <laughs> so we're going to fast travel to this spot <laughs> instead. An attempt to ride the metro was made. We'll probably do that again at some point, properly. You don't know me, but you will. The name's Dino. Deal with downtown city center. Vim. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Odd stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Dino knows everybody. I pissed off that dude. <laughs> like, don't push me. Hey, yeah. What? What did you just do? You can actually push into people. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Get away from me right now. I thought I just walked through everyone. Turns out you actually do push into the 25-7 stuff. How does that work? Isn't being a tourist so fun, guys? Right, I'm crossing the road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be on the news. Crazy person's uh, first day in Night City. Tourists! Am I right? Uh, right, you can't run into anyone. Some people are made out of steel. Ow, my ankles. God damn, every time I get to a big intersection, I like lose my mind. It's like people getting in fucking accidents all the time, dude. This dude does not know how to wait. Ugh, why? Having to watch the cars obey the... Having to watch the cars attempt to obey road rules is fucking hilarious. Because they just... they can't, clearly. They are struggling. Heard you home. Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. And we know Padre from the Street Kid intro, but we barely know him at all as Corpo V. Look at this tiny little car struggling to get through the intersection. This is going to be my most immersive episode of Cyberpunk ever. We're waiting until we can walk. Otherwise I'll get run over by a fucking car. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me, mate. Thank you. I'm walking ahead. Dude, that speaker, like, advertisement is so fucking Blade Runner. It's incredible. It's all that I can think of. Hearing, like, the... the woman AI voice just echoing through the streets. 
my god, I'm gonna jaywalk. I'm gonna jay- Ah! Oh shit, see? I almost died. This is why we wait. <laughs> I made it! Oh my god. This place is a, a disaster. What lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass? You hear me? He'll Ooh, run you out of biz. I'm not the only victim. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Okay. Data now. Please wait. <laughs> uh, hey, Dell. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, she was last in line. Yeah, but I'm more important. What's gotten into you, Dell? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. Bro is glitching. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Corpse, dude. Listen, want to talk to Delamain. You are currently being assisted. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Mrs. Elaine Pagels. What phrase would best describe your experience of incident number seven seven one 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 zero one zero nine six? Elaine Pagels? Is that my name? Is that my actual full name? Mrs. Elaine Pagels. What phrase would best describe your experience of incident number seven seven one 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 zero one? Zero, nine, six. Can I not, like, just name my character? Preem. Preem accident. I shit green apples. Now get me the real Delamain. V. My apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Ah, special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Uh, yeah, sure. Everyone else is freaking out in here. Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. The oh, fuck? Alright. Epis- ep Epistrophe. Oh my god, it's- Please follow the drone. <laughs> we shall speak elsewhere. Sounds like I'm listening to Nine Inch Nails right now. Fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. Is the drone playing that music? What the fuck? The shop is fully automated. Hey, Delamain, can I have this? Portfolio to include repair services. I'll accept this as compensation if you don't mind. What is happening right now? <laughs> Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. Think I know why. Delamain Rave. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. Delamain virus, all right. When do I come into this? I'm the important person that needs to help you out, huh? I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Control rooms are for Gannicks. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? 
in my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking in CPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, never mind. I thought I, I would have to unlock that skill to be able to unlock and hack cars, but or I can just have that. Ah, what the fuck? I dropped a grenade. Why did it drop a grenade? I didn't even press RB. What the fuck? I opened the box and I, I, I dropped a grenade at the same time. Did I miss out on some dialogue? I think I blew up the repair drone with the fucking grenade. Right, hold on a minute. I thought that Delamain was trying to kill me. I was like, this, it's a trap. Delamain's trying to blow me up. You're not even on the computer anymore. All these lights, what are they for? All right, here we go, guys. We're going to open this box and don't blow up. Okay, nice. That went as intended. Okay, I don't think I blew up the repair drone, and I don't think there's more dialogue. I was wondering if, like, the uh, grenade going off would have interrupted anything, but it looks like it was fine. So there you go. Now I can leave. Um, apparently, we're going to be tracking down Delamain cabs. So that seems like something we might do, like, over time. If I have a look on the map... It shows us, like, just one of them so far. So we'll probably do that, like, over time. Maybe when while we're around. Or maybe we will go and get everything out. Who knows? Oh, this is cool. You can see the primary gangs in each of the areas. That's pretty sick, actually. We're going to deliver 21,000 to Vic. As we've got 31k, we should pay back that guy. So we're going to head to a fast travel point. Now there's a part of me that would love to not fast travel for the most part and still explore the city and take in everything that can happen around us. And we'll certainly uh, do both. And then I think when we want to experiment with certain... Experiment's the wrong word. When we want to explore certain quest lines, uh, we can do so. with fast travel. All right, heading back down to Vic. Get him paid in full. Where's the cat? Where's the cat, guys? What did you do with the cat? There used to be a cat here. It was my friend. Maybe it's just Vic's cat, right? Right? Vic, you got a cat in here? Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. Not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. Damn, this dude was like, keep it. As soon as I was like, I'll pay you back. Ooh, I want to change my appearance. So this is like, at your mirror, you can change things about yourself, but does this allow us to change everything? Need to change up my style. Excellent. Let's do this. Something that I absolutely love about the cyberpunk world is you just be like, I just got cybernetic hair implants, you know? So you can, uh, you want to change your, <laughs> you want to change your, your hair? You can do that. You want to change your cyberware? You can do that. Uh, we, we're putting Jackie's 
cyberware on in honor of Jack. And then I'm changing my hair a bit. Um, I will tell you, it is so hard to honestly settle on a hairstyle because pretty much every single hairstyle in this game is just so damn good. Um, I really do love it. So we will be changing hairstyles each and every day. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. All right, I want to take a look around here because we've got some money now, so we can also do more to our system. So there's higher tier operating systems, which is pretty fun. So we can see if we can't afford it, or if we can. Um, I like these stalker optics. Automatically connects to a tech weapon and highlights enemies behind cover. Let's get some of these. Uh, quieter movement, more movement speed, less fall damage. So, Link's Paws, we can get that for our legs. Sure. Got to upgrade to my legs. Alright, we're only upgrading the legs today. We'll have to get some money and get some other upgrades later. Obviously, we paid Vic back, so... That took a bunch of money out of our account. But we can sell some shit that we're holding on to later as well and come back. But that's fun, so we can change our appearance uh, here properly. And you can do that once you pay him back. There you go. Alright. I think we should collect our reward from Wakako now as well. Um, did we read this? If you're looking for a decent paying gig in Westbrook, go to the Pachinko Parlor on Jig Jig Street, run by a fixer named Wakako Okada. Rumors abound, but as of yet, nobody's worked up the nerve to ask her about her past and her very many, very dead husbands. She didn't kill any of them, probably, but hey, what's important is that they're gone and she's still going strong, growing richer and more powerful by the day. Every serious player in Night City respects Wakako. Wakako, sorry. Going into a meeting with her is like getting into a cage with a lioness. Sure, the lioness is polite, but you can tell she's already thinking about her next snack. Maybe that's why Wakako's gigs are carried out almost immediately and flawlessly. Wakako takes this entirely for granted. Wow. Okay. Meanwhile, like, you've got uh, Dexter Deshawn apparently being, like, a legendary fixer that everybody's like, hell yeah, man. And, like, he does not live up to that hype at all. He literally comes back after two years. Uh, after fucking up a job, apparently, and then also fucks up his very next job. And then gets killed. New contact added, Mama Wells. I'm being contacted by... Oh, V, we need to talk. Please pick up. since we talk since when Jackie passed away how are you doing how you think my son is dead but I am hanging in there calling to offer my condolences hmm? offer your condolences Ay, Jesucristo, v. you lived under our roof have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met I was going to call you I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi. Don't treat me like a stranger you just met. Even though... We did just meet. Okako Okada, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. That's what I'm doing. You did quite well. You and that friend of yours. Until then. I'm just laughing while on the phone because I'm jumping. 
And you can see my fucking left arm break in real time. Oh, it's not now, but like you can sit. Yeah, when when you sprint and jump for your fucking arm. Konoichi, Tiger Claws, wanted in Night City, unlawful confinement, kidnapping for ransom. Hmm. Seems like the skulls are the bounties that we can pick up. Yeah, we'll get street cred for all of these. We'll make an enemy of the Tiger Claws in the meantime, maybe? Maybe they won't find out who did it. Hang on, this isn't my knife. Right, this is my setup. We got my pistol, we got my katana, we got my knife. And then you, uh... Oh, now we can dash, look at that. Oh, we got so much more movement. Now this knife will not be a kill. So what we might do instead is sneak up from behind and go for the kill. That's a nice bike though. But there's just a few of them here. Full gang. Nice bikes. Alright, let's go for the go for the big dog first. Hey babe. Look at this dodging. Don't pursue me, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm hiding. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, damn, dude. Alright, I got money and I got some uh, street cred. Can I take the bike? Yeah. <laughs> My car's at the shop right now, so I appreciate it. Oh, what the f- Wait, what the fuck? Ah! I've got a wanted level- Oh shit, i got a one-star wanted level. Of course I do. I just killed people in broad daylight. Alright, get on the bike. We're getting out of here. Dude, third-person camera. So sick. Alright, we're out of here. Okay, we're out of here. Let's go. Killed a member of the Tiger Claws. Got a cool bike. Broke my neck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, don't fuck up the bike. We have an old 211 again. I fucking quit. Suspect's vehicle has been located. Details have been sent. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my bike. Oh, fuck. It's, I fucked it. My bike's done for. I fucked my bike up. It's over. I need to hide. They don't. They can't see me here. All right, guys, we just hide here. I'm gonna hide next to a vending machine. They have no idea. All right, we're about to lose the wanted level. It's blinking. Nice. And they barely even searched for me. Just hide next to a vending machine. See, they're just getting into a gang war with someone else now. You know what? That looks like another free bike for me right there. Someone got knocked off their bike. I liked this one. Oh, it's a police bike. Uh, shit. Damn it. Oh, I can still get on. Nice. It lives. My bike lives. I'm out of here. I should probably drive on the right side of the road. <gasps> All right, so we do actually have third person camera. 
on the bike. That's sick. It's a cool way to be able to actually see our character model. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Look at this bike. Right. Now let's get back on track. I've done my first bounty. Let's head back to Wakaku. Right. Can't take the vehicle inside. Where's your cute little ass rushing off to? Slow down. Treat yourself to a little R E L A X X X. Right here, a curbside massage. No, no, gotta pay extra for that. All night, every night. Use your imagination. Jesus. Why the size of that thing. Here? So I wouldn't have to. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> you chosen something. So they censor all the dicks and turned all of them into fists. How can I be of service? And giant butt plugs. That's a hilarious way to censor it. And you've got a shot over here. The Lost Rocker Boy, the solo career of Kerry Uridan. Got something that'll keep you wet for hours. No, thank you. Hey, you're looking at that part. Alright, we finally made it. Oh, dude, have they got Metal Gear Solid 3 on one of these things? Where is it? <laughs> Yes, she is. Who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? <laughs> Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pool, sold sex, and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Nine. Damn. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Nice. Thanks, ma'am. See you later. <laughs> Um, I saw the shot on the table and it made me think. I'm remembering how um, you get like, hey, information's on the shard, put it in, take a look, you know, that kind of stuff. And it would like give you cool information. But we've got a relic shard in our slot now. And if we remove it, we die. So like now I guess we can no longer have in the storyline to like get a shard or put a shard in for any of that information that kind of like makes us a little bit useless in that regard. They're like, here, information's on the shard. And they're like, ah, sorry. Can't put anything in my fucking slot. <laughs> it's taken. You know? Hey there. What were we talking about? Hey, you're looking for some company tonight? <laughs> hey, what were we talking about? It, baby. Excuse me. Uh, okay. You know you know what? This is a little bit crowded. I I'll, I'll see you later. Whoops. All right, I'm getting on my bike, and we're getting the hell out of here. I'm gonna go collect our free reward from Cassius Rider's Ripper Doc Shop. 
1.8 k's away. Let's embark on this journey on my flaming bike. Maybe I should go and find somewhere to get it repaired on the way. <laughs> I feel like if anything touches this thing, I'm all done. Oh, Jesus. Don't pull out in the street like that. Not while I'm speeding. Look at this lighting though, holy shit. Oh god, oh god, air time. Air time. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Ah! My legs! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Farewell to the bike, I guess. Dude, my fucking air time. You know how hard that is to control the bike? Boom, that goes. Oh, I'm outside of Lizzie's. I'll just take this limo with me. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, guess it's a good thing I'm close to this goddamn fast travel point. Bike couldn't have blown up in a better place. Uh, let's go to Goldsmith Street. So we're getting like a free cybernetic upgrade, which is nice. Don't have to pay for it. So I should probably try and do quest lines instead of just spending my money to get upgrades, because I might get some cool free stuff. All NCPD subcons. APB out for suspect accused of organized crime activity near Ross Street and Shipyard Way. Scavengers led by Yelena Sidorova, presumed to be armed and dangerous, have assaulted multiple homeless persons. Night City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing the threat. Alright, the money should be in your account, but I have something else for you too. A personal link. It's unwise to engage in idle time. Okay. We obviously already called her, but I guess we'll just get rid of it from the text message thing. Come and see me in my little parish when you have a spare moment. We can sit and talk. Speak to Padre. Electric orgasm. Okay, Dino. Dino wants us to go to uh, the electric orgasm. Dark Rider. Hello? This guy, huh? How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Lately? Cassius. Max Tech raided a black clinic not long past. Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. Okay. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. Um, alright, so it's on the hands, right? Tattoo. Oh, so a Tiger Claw's dermal imprint. Enables the use of smart targeting and smart weapons. Directly links the user's optical implants to the weapon system. So... It's free, it's also zero, and it's a tattoo. So that's just on my hand now, or my forearm? I'll find out when I'm out. I still have stuff on my hands. What can you do? Alright, I now have a smart link, my free upgrade. This is fucking crazy, honestly. Like, walking around this city compared to walking around locations in Starfield is absolutely nuts. This is the benefit of having one fully fleshed out 
crafted location to spend time in, that big playground compared to a thousand planets of nothing. <laughs> of here's a city and it's empty. Not much is going on. And all the NPCs look like that. <laughs> I wish that Starfield was like four planets and they were fully fleshed out and the narrative served the purpose well and then they could have expanded into sequels or DLC or whatever that gave us new planets or new locations instead of, here's a thousand planets, good luck, you know? It's too much, too much stuff with not enough substance. Okay. I feel like we have to do meeting Mama Wells at El Coyote Coho because this is Jackie, right? So we've got to do a little funeral for, for Jackie. I don't usually give advice, but fuck it. Here goes. Don't make the same mistake I made. Say goodbye to the people you love. You know what I mean, right? Jackie Wells was your best tomb, and you don't find a lot of straight up peeps like that at NC. Best thing you can do is remember them. Oh, and one more thing. If anyone asks, I didn't say all that to you. Got it? Is this being written by... Um... Johnny now? Alright, we'll do heroes. Mama Wells. Guadalupe Alejandra Wells. But everyone calls her Mama. It's almost taken for granted that whoever walks through her front door can count on being listened to as well as sitting down to a delicious meal... And like every mother, she would give up anything, even her life, to protect her children. An important figure in Haywood, even the toughest Valentino is not in respect when she passes. Padre even once said that not only does Mama Wells have a good heart, but that she's tougher than any ganger in the district. The Glen. Rewind a few decades back and Night City Council was on its knees begging corporations to help rebuild the city. The Glen became home to the new city hall. It's no surprise then that the Glen feels much safer and organized than other districts, with millions of eddies invested on every corner. Reconciliation Park promises a literal breath of fresh air, while the elegance of the surrounding architecture reminds you that the bustle of the Night City is never out of reach. City Hall is the main attraction of the Glen and the seat of the city's mayor, but venture away from the tidiness and sophistication and you'll quickly start noticing rundown buildings and the menacing faces of the Valentinos and the 6th Street Gang. You won't get that in tourist guides. Still, the very fact that there's such a drastic social and economic difference only a few blocks away from City Hall says a lot about how the city is run. The El Coyote is a dive in Hollywood run by the universally liked... So, Haywood, not Hollywood. Universally liked Mama Wells, its clientele mainly consists of locals but anyone who can appreciate good food has the means to pay for it. It's greeted with open arms. That's where we're going, baby. Let's take us back down this way to Haywood. All right, I don't really have a location that's super close. Since we're going to work together, only right to say hello. Huh? They call me El Capitan, and they call you... See no introductions necessary. Already took care of that. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Okay, this was actually perfect timing. I was like, everyone and their mother has my number, dude. Um, I do need a car. If you ever want to come size me up, look me in the eye, whatever, swing by, I'm here. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to meet you. Yeah. Alright, looks like I can buy a car here. How much? Welcome to Muammar El Capitan Ray's Auto Fixer Net page. Alright. Um, okay, that's locked. That's not nice. That's locked. Um, am I going to be able to afford any of these cars? Can I have a car, please? 18k, 13k. Fuck, I can't even afford a car. I need to sell some stuff. 19,000. 16,000. Ooh, bikes as well. Oh, dude, look, look! Oh my god, the Porsche 911. Yeah. Um. I'm sure I've got stuff in my inventory that I can sell. 
can I sell 4k worth of stuff and uh, and get a car real quick so I can drive because Delamain busted up my vehicle I'm sure this burger guy has enough cash what in his inventory something hot cold coffee liquor one spunky monkey please pass on the coffee I'll have a spunky monkey instead everyone listen up this is a fucking robbery Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you! Shut the fuck up! Put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you! Fuck. Stay where you are! And don't fucking move a muscle! If I hear so much as a peep, you'll be getting a side order of lead! Somebody Wait, likes being the center of attention. On the table. Keep your mouth what shut! Keep your and nobody gets mouth hurt. shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. I'm here to make money, bitch. Oh, come on! You're giving me mixed signals here. How am I supposed to dig into my pockets if my hands are in the air? Either I'm reaching for the ceiling or for my wallet. It's one or the other. Think a sense of humor is gonna get you out of this? You know who always dies first? Funny people like you. Wallet with Eddie's. Nah. Get fucked, dude. I'm literally here to sell money so I can buy a car. Nah. You're dead, bitch. Ah! Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Just loot the place. Dude, the <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> you bastards. This is so fucking stupid. <laughs> My lord. Nothing like they're all dead. Hell yeah, they are. They fucked with me. Just to save a couple of eddies? Get out! Get out already! Yes, it was worth it to save a couple of eddies. I came here for money. <laughs> and now I can, I think, afford a car because I just got some more money. Ezekiel saw the wheel. He doesn't even like me. I'm pretty sure nobody died, everybody, so, you know, hey, you owe me. Alright, we have hijacked a car. That is our means of transport. Code zero. I repeat code zero. This is what happens when Delamain destroys our vehicle. I don't really want to fork out so much money on a new car. I just gotta wait for my car to be fixed. The coyote, go! Alright. I made it. <laughs> That's the important part. God damn. In through the front door. Nice. The pool table? We got to get rid of it. Really? He's pretty massive. So. Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? One mind one. Salud. It's a big ass beer. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Look at all that liquid that's definitely in that bottle. Hanging in there somehow? Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But... Something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that'd do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart... is in the right place, mi niña. 
Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I the bail. Damn, okay. Gonna go through Jackie's memories. Did he leave me his bike in the will, Mama? Because I need a vehicle. Misty. Hi, V. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always oh, saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Nah, Jack was... Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Oh yeah. Here we go, baby. <gasps> Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. Can I have it? Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely why they're up there. <gasps> oh, no, it's the key to Jackie's room. I thought that might have been the key to the bike. My mind is set on it. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? 
¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica? ¿Va? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the ofrenda, though. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Yeah, let's put for whom the bell tolls on the ofrenda. That's a great idea. Anything else I haven't interacted with in here? Everything seems... Blue? Oh, I guess we picked this up for the Ofrenda. The Jackster all the way. We haven't chosen an offering yet because we still haven't gotten here. So we're going here now before we choose. Oh, Jackie. Is that a, a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Um, they're really handling the memory of Jackie and his character really, really well. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Wow. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentinos, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Uh, the him. An aquarium? It used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. That's great. And you're here. Nice still. It's Jack in. <laughs> it's 
Jack into Jackie's computer. Alright, let's have a look. What's he got on the messages? Dex, T-Bug, a vouch for you and V. He heard about you, remembered you all too well even. He'll want to meet with V. But I think it'll be just be a formality. See you at the afterlife. Victor, this Saturday the boys are competing for the World Heavyweight Championship. Savitz versus Blanco. Beers are already cooling in the fridge. Don't forget about our deal. Blanco wins by KO in the third round. You better have the eddies. Not letting you off the hook this time. Remember when he said that he doesn't do that? Gorgeous ride, looking for a new owner. Jackie, my man, you won't believe your luck. A collector's selling a beauty in preem condition. Price is good if a little over your budget. Let me know if you're interested, because if you aren't, it'll go to someone else. Peace. All right. Well, I guess in, in terms of choosing the offering, that is the only one. So we don't actually really get to choose. <laughs> Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. I'll be back for you later, baby. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Pack my bags and hopped on a... I'll see you at the Coyote then. You, you're walking away from me, but... For a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window. Apparently I could take the basketball as well, actually. So there was multiple uh, choices. Uh, it just didn't really make it super, super obvious. Misty, wait. <laughs> you're just chatting and leaving me in the dust. Shut this fucking up. I wanted to talk to you and she's just like, off I go. Alright, we're choosing the book, My not the basketball. He was a fine boy. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. Oh, Padre is here too. It's a little more filled out now. Good you're here. We're about to start. Oh, Victor with the boxing Stay gloves. Down, hey, V. Yeah. His favorite solved Rubik's Cube. Thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me 
he said. No te preocupes, mamá. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It feels like it happened a century ago. At another time, in another place. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, He loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching, Bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Um, I'll come back to you, Mama, because you're you're the not optional. Are you getting enough sleep? You're the not optional version, so I'll speak to everybody else first. 
Oh, damn. Poor Jaquito. There are so many optional versions. I wonder if he'll be as torn up it's after like, you die. Oh, I've honestly done a really great job here, but it's wild that it feels like I've spent more time with the funeral version of Jackie than with Jackie himself. We didn't get enough time. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm going to turn around and see him sitting at the bar in his favorite spot where he always used to sit. Poor for Jackie. Amen, sister. Gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Me too, Chica. <sighs> Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> I'd like so. I'd have shots with absolutely everyone that I sit A with. Proud son of Haywood. But Jackie deserves it. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. Talk to later. everyone and anyone at the moment. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? Think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, right, give me a break. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. Um, now, where Padre at? Lupe's been handling their loss pretty good. She's a strong woman. Hey. You all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage mentally. I just need a sec. Uh, looks like there's a one upstairs. I'll be with you in a second, Mama. And she's the option, uh, not the optional one, but she's the first person you end up talking to. So it just feels weird that I have to be like, wait a sec. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Jackie. Did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. Oh, God. I'm just exploring my dialogue options, Padre. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Are you gonna embarrass me like that, Padre? It was a dialogue option. Alright, now we speak with Mama. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Is this the foot? Do I get the bike? Are you sure? Jackie'd kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Yes. Thank you. 
I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Let's go. <laughs> then we can leave the bar. Ah. Fuck yeah. Um. Right, hold on, guys. I gotta go out the back. I got a bike to ride. I honestly, this side quest is perfectly timed. I get my car wrecked. You're listening to 88.9 Pacific Dreams. Where's my bike? I can't go, I can't go in there and get it. Oh wait. Oh. It's just in my cool vehicle list now. I, so, I have that. Okay. I thought I could go and collect it. Sure. That ruins me uh, going on the journey to pick it up myself, but fine. My bicycle. All right, where's it? Where is it? It's at the front. I could have just gone out the front. You get fucking hell. If I just can I not get out this way? Let me out of here. I'm getting out of here, whether you like it or not. Fuck you. <laughs> Here's my bike. All right. Open stash. Wait, what the fuck? There's a stash in the back of the... In the back of the bike. You can access your inventory from the back of the bike. That's okay. I guess cars also have that in the trunk, I suppose. Hell yeah, there we go. Rest in peace, Jackie baby. That was a very beautiful and touching mission. I think the emotional beats were really there. Um, and they gave it time to breathe, which I really appreciated as well. They didn't like rush through that at all. Um, and I think that was really, really nice. Uh, so that was our heroes. Jackie is a hero. We'll see that he gets his name for a drink in the afterlife yet. We'll give it time. But for now, we will be bringing this episode of Cyberpunk 2077 to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today as we explored a little bit of extra content and explored Night City a little bit. And we will be doing that more next time before we meet with Takamura. So thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you then.